Apes, I have some important, very tit-jacking news for you. We need to talk about fails to deliver. I'm sure you've heard of them, and likely in an inaccurate fashion. Before we begin, I'll briefly cover what fails to deliver are and what they could potentially mean for AMC before I jack all of your tits on this fine March weekend. Who's ready? I'm ready. Are you ready, Joe? Joe? Um, Joe? Um, who? Well, look at that little bird over... No. Whoops, I just pooped. In financial markets, a fails to deliver occurs when a party fails to deliver securities they have agreed to sell by the settlement date. This can happen for a number of reasons, such as a delay in processing or an inability to locate the securities to deliver. Fails to deliver are typically accounted for in financial markets through a process called marking to market. In this process, the value of the securities is adjusted to reflect the current market value, and any losses or gains are realized by the parties involved. If a fails-to-deliver situation persists beyond the settlement date, it is considered a failed trade. Failed trades can have a negative impact on market liquidity and can create systemic risk, as they can lead to counterparty failures and other disruptions in the market. To address fails-to-deliver and failed trades, financial regulators may impose penalties or fines on the parties involved. In some cases, they may also require the parties to repurchase or deliver the securities in question, or take other remedial actions to ensure that the trade is settled. Now, the important part of all of this is, quote, they may also require the parties to repurchase or deliver the securities in question, or take other remedial actions to ensure that the trade is settled, unquote. Now, while people online have gotten several areas of AMC wrong, one area that they are correct is that there is, in fact, a relevant amount of short interest for the ticker. And the next settlement date is just around the corner. Now, a couple more things. To get the source fails data, simply go to the Securities and Exchange Commission's website to download the data. Also, there's actually an interactive chart that you can use as well. Now, Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this shitty video. Well, jack my tits and call me Hillary. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? AMC is currently taking 10 out of 15 spots for the top fails to deliver list. This is batshit crazy, yo. Last time I saw this data appear in our Discord, AMC ran the very next week and ran big donkey dick style. So. Am I telling you MOAS is real? No. Am I telling you that AMC is going to 100000 per share? No. I'm simply saying that due to the current data metrics surrounding AMC, the approaching short interest window, and the amount overall of AMC shorted as a percentage of float, I'd say there's a good opportunity to make some money here in the coming days. Specifically, pay attention to the settlement dates that fall within the next short interest window of March 15th to March 17th. You're looking at a Discord command that pulls the top 15, fails to deliver, and then drops their settlement dates as well. Again, last time this occurred, AMC ran shortly following. And on top of this, although much less relevant, AMC is also sitting on the threshold list as well for an excessive number of days. Not financial advice, of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go clean some poopy poops off of Joe. Guy needs to learn how to make it to the bathroom. Coming Joe, bastard.